Hi, everybody. Um, I'm going to show you the best way to get logged into the NCAD cloud. Um, there's been some reports of people having trouble with that. And so I want to say that my preferred browser of choice is Chrome. Um, however, it should work on other browsers like Safari and Firefox. Um, but you want to be able to get to the student portal. So you'll see here that if you choose to start from the Computer Lab website, this button right here will link you to the student portal. Of course, you can always just do a Google search for CMS student portal, and that'll get you there as well. All right, but starting from the student portal is the best way to get to the NCAD cloud. The student portal is kind of our launching pad that takes you to all of the great um, supplemental resources that we use here in CMS. So you'll see at the top of the student portal, a lot of new stuff that will be available coming soon for the um, remote learning. So if you scroll past all of that, you can see what we're used to seeing. And those are the different buttons that take you to our different uh, supplemental resources. So any button that says NCF Cloud will take you to the same place. I always kind of teach the kids to scroll down and pick the program that they want to use. And click that button and you see that it takes you to the Rapid Identity um, NCI Cloud login screen. Okay, and this is where you want to be to get logged into this, the um, NCI Cloud. So your username here is going to be your student ID number. So just type that in, click go. Notice the start over button. If there's ever a mistake or an error or if it doesn't work the first time, you're going to want to click start over and start with that username again. But from here, you're just going to enter your password. And that would be um, your graduation password if you're in kindergarten, first or second grade. And then a personal password that you chose if you're in grades three, four or five. All right, so click go and that'll take you into the NCF cloud. Okay, and there's a lot in there, but um, the most important things are kind of these first two for right now. Um, coming soon, we'll be utilizing Canvas as our learning management system. So you'll want to know about that in the near future. But for now, we're just looking at Clever. And Clever is the program that allows you to put a whole bunch of programs in there without the need for any additional logging in. So all you do to get in Clever is click right here where it says log in with the NCAD cloud. So click that link and it should log you in to Clever. And here we go. Now I've gone ahead and kind of clicked the heart on some of the most, uh, the best resources that are here. So they appear up here on the favorite section. If you scroll down, they're also down there and down here, but it was just kind of uh, handy to click those hearts and they appear up here at the top. All right, so all of the things in here, we've got Dreambox, that's a great math program for grades kindergarten, first, second, and third. Then we have Edgenuity, which is good literacy and math practice for K-5. You wanna click on the, um, let me click on that and get in there and show you. If you do use Edgenuity, which is a great resource right now, you're going to want to click on the hybrid reading or the hybrid math tabs. Don't do that Odyssey. The, the, the reading or the math are the two that you want to do there. Okay, and then there's uh, Learning A to Z, that's RAS Kids, which is leveled books that the teachers have set to your student's level. And you can take a quiz that goes with each book. And then you have um, Sora, which are ebooks available through our library, the, the public library. And then we have Education Galaxy, which is specific to Polar Ridge. And that again is reading and math practice, similar to Edgenuity. Um, there is a pretest in there you can take to kind of set it to your appropriate level. So that's it. Um, hopefully that helps. Oh, also down here, teacher pages. These are pay, uh, links that your classroom teachers might have added. And those are other good places you can go for some supplemental uh, learning. All right, so hope that helps. Thanks a bunch.